Good evening everyone, it's Lith340. Uh, this is a short demonstration or explanation of my uh, latest uh, concoction. This is this right here is a uh, uh, HHO meter. Uh, basically it's just it's a clear piston that pops up. Uh, and you know I know how I know how much everybody really loved the way that this one worked the, the, for its simplicity, its repeatability and its accuracy. But I got tired of getting my hands wet, so I decided I would do something like this. Uh, this is this thing right here is not like most of the ones you see on the internet in that it's mostly air. There's a pipe, there's an outside pipe and the inside pipe. This inside pipe occupies 95% of the interior and there's just barely enough room for this tube to slide down inside of it. And it only uses it only uses this much water. Uh, inch and uh, I'm sorry, about 300 350 milliliters of water. That's what it uses. I mean, it, that 350 milliliters occupies this entire volume up to about here. And all the water is used for is a uh, is a fluid. Uh, uh, gasket it's just to keep the air from getting past the uh, when you're when it's filling up with air it keeps the air from passing by uh, but it's just a the outside piece is a uh, what is it I can't see it it's an inch and a half it's an inch and a half thin wall PVC this tube right here this tube right here is, uh, and once you hold it like this, you'll recognize, you might recognize it, but it's a t kind of a tube that you normally would put slide over the outside of a, uh, for a four foot fluorescent tube. Uh, this one is cut short mainly because when I found the, the, when I found the materials the right diameter, this was the longest I could find it. Really, I should have made it the entire, the entire four feet because this one right now, I mean, I've yet to calibrate it. I've still got to calibrate it yet. But when I do calibrate it, I think, uh, I want to say one liter is going to be almost like three feet. So it needs to be much taller than this. But one, one thing about it, when it has such a long throw like that, it's going to be very accurate. When you make marks, you're, instead of being half inch, you know, three eighths of an inch apart between, uh, between 100 milliliters and 200 milliliters is going to be is going to be uh, it's going to be a, this far apart. So once I get it calibrated, I'm going to make I'm going to uh, I'm going to start once I figure it once I calibrate it. Uh, my uh, the way I'm going to do this is my timer will it'll run up to about in here somewhere, and that'll be my first mark, and that's where I start my stopwatch, and then uh, whatever the distance is that I feel comfortable with. Probably 500, 750 milliliters, something like that. That's going to be the second mark, and that's where a stopwatch will be turned off. And being that it uses so little amount of water, dumping it over at, by accident, it's not going to be a, a, you know, well, unless you dump it on your electronics, it's not going to be a major problem. But it, uh, yeah, it's it's just like I said, it's a, poo, a tube inside of a tube with a sliding clear tube inside that. So. I wish, the only thing I wish I'd done, been able to do differently is I wish I'd been make, be able to make, a, make it taller. I think if another two, two more feet taller would have been good. But this will this will work. This will get me past getting my getting my hands in the water. So, um, all right, that's all I have for that particular subject. Uh, this is Luther P40 uh, signing off. Thank you very much for taking the time to watch my videos. Take care.